It doesn't have to take months or years of therapy to figure out if you're in an emotionally abusive relationship. We don't need to waste that much time. But what we do need to do is get the facts straight because this is just about facts. And I know you're caught up in the feelings of it and the pain of it and that healing will come in time. But first we need to get clear on what's really going on in your relationship. And I'm gonna do that for you in the next three minutes. Okay, let's start with the cycle of emotional abuse. Now, this is what you wanna watch for. And remember, it's all about power and control. Your partner's trying to control you, okay? So tension builds, and maybe over here we have like, they're irritable, they're critical, you're walking on eggshells, he's annoyed, shut down, stonewalling, doesn't wanna talk about things, but you can feel that tension building, right? You're getting nervous, you're getting anxious. Then we have the explosion. This is where we see a lot of the emotional abuse behavior coming in, yelling, name calling, they're gaslighting you. Maybe the silent treatment is part of this. Um, they might threaten self-harm to get you to capitulate. And then after that dies down, we have the love bombing stage where they suck you back in, affection, attention. Maybe they do apologize. Maybe they even acknowledge, you know, you're right. I shouldn't have done that. They might make promises of change. You might get gifts and they hoover you back in and then around and around you go. And this is the cycle of emotional abuse. So watch for this in your relationship because this stage is where you get confused. This stage is where you're like, oh, he's gonna change. He said he'd go to therapy. He's taking me on a trip. He's doing all the things that I really want him to do. But then before you know it, you're back over here. So watch for this. Okay, here are some of the signs of emotional abuse to look for in your relationship. Shaming, telling you you're wrong. I can't believe you did that. You're so stupid. You're so dumb. You don't know what you're doing. Blaming or blame shifting, especially things like, I would never have done it if you didn't make me so angry. Like watch for that. Or blame shifting where you bring an issue and then before you know it, you're the problem and you're talking about how you're the problem and how dare you bring this up to me or you're so sensitive or you don't trust me and now you're talking about you instead of the issue you brought up in the first place. Criticizing, especially if it's cruel or mean. Guilting is a powerful way of, of control and manipulation. Um, I can't believe you would think of leaving me. I can't live without you. You're my everything. I would be lost without you, blah, blah, blah. Humiliating, ridiculing, and dismissing. Uh, monitoring, so invasion of privacy, checking your text messages all the time, asking for your emails, suspicion of you, gaslighting, classic, telling you that your experience is not valid, your emotions are not valid, you're just being too sensitive, you're on your period, you're hormonal, it's not real, I can't believe you think that way, constantly telling you that what you're experiencing, your thoughts, your opinions, your emotions are not real, makes you think you're crazy, makes you believe you're the problem. Silent treatment, just ignoring you for long stretches of time. This is different than someone taking space and saying like, I just need a break. This is like calculated silent treatment. You no longer exist to me and it's done to try to control and manipulate you. And it will be because they need you to capitulate to them, whether it's you know not leaving or coming to them and apologizing or whatever. Stonewalling is saying like, I don't wanna talk about this now, blowing you off, not being willing to address any issues, uh, essentially just continuing to put up that stone wall every time you try to talk about an issue in the relationship. Isolation, this is a huge sign of emotional abuse. If you are isolated, you're not talking to your friends and family, you don't go out anymore on your own, like you are isolated, they want you alone so they can do all of this. And yelling, name calling, obviously emotional abuse. Look, I understand that there are reasons why it's taking you a long time to acknowledge uh, that you're in an emotionally abusive relationship and that's your work on yourself to get out of denial, to have support around acknowledging what's really going on. You look at these signs and you look at that cycle. Is that indicative of what you're experiencing in your relationship? Call a thing a thing. Everything is data. Look at the data that I just gave you. Now look at the behavior of your partner and decide for yourself once and for all, is it emotional abuse or isn't it? And if you decide, yes, it fucking is, then get support and start working on yourself so you can build yourself back up to get out of that because it's only going to get worse. It is not gonna fix itself. It's not gonna magically go away. It's going to get worse.